Okay, we are at Adopting Bitcoin 2022, and I have the pleasure with Paolo from Bitfinex. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Excited to be here. So the conference second day, what's your impression? Well, I see many happy people, smiling people, excited to you know see the progress of uh, of El Salvador in adopting Bitcoin, and learn about um, you know new developments in the Bitcoin uh, uh, sphere. So uh, I think it's going great. I think one question everyone has right now is uh, what's going on with Ethereum and how would it affect Tether? Can you comment on this? Um, I think, you know, Ethereum uh, and what these guys are doing with proof of stake um, and so on will not affect us. In a way, in a certain way, think about this, right? Um, Tether is a centralized stablecoin using a decentralized transport layer, right? So use, we use multiple blockchains. So. Um, you know, uh, we are anyway a central, uh, central issuer. So uh, if a user has a problem, they will always come to us. So the fact that uh, Ethereum is a bit more or less centralized doesn't change too much. Of course, I would prefer much more proof of work than proof of stake, but hey, it's not my decision. Um, Apparently, there is a guy that decides. You're investing a lot in awareness here in El Salvador. Um, are you also investing in terms of technology and rolling out products here on the ground? So we are definitely investing in education and infrastructure, right? So with Bitfinex Securities, we want to provide um, to um, the government of El Salvador, but also to the local community, a way to uh, create uh, financial products like securities, so issuing or digi um, tokenizing stocks, tokenizing uh, bonds in order to help uh, local communities, local companies to raise capital, right? So usually local companies, uh, you know, companies in emerging markets have much harder access to capital than someone living in a company living in the US, right? So we want to try to democratize the access to capital, uh, removing all the intermediaries possible. So putting directly the issuer in contact with the investor. You had your keynote yesterday and the theme is financial freedom to bring financial freedom. Now, uh, local people here mi might be turned off uh, from Bitcoin actually because, you know, the volatility, um, they're scared of it. Um, what would you tell someone that, that has maybe um, yeah, ha ha had a bad first impression of Bitcoin and uh, how could you uh, explain financial freedom to someone? Sure. So first of all, I think that it comes all um, to the infrastructure, right? So um, you have made, imagine that you have a restaurant that is selling pupusas, right? Uh, this restaurant will source the material in order to prepare the pupusas. Um, paying in dollars likely, right? So accepting uh, Bitcoin as a payment definitely has some issues with volatility. But um, we as a company, we are used to build products that uh, reduce that risk. For example, uh, imagine that you have a customer that is coming uh, with his uh, Japanese yen um, credit card. He swipes the card and you still receive dollars. So we can set up a technology that allows the merchant to keep everything in Bitcoin, 90% in Bitcoin, 10% in Bitcoin, 0% in Bitcoin. So the point of financial freedom is not forcing everyone to have to hold on Bitcoin with, um, without compromises, right? People need to get there with their own time. It's giving them tools to accept Bitcoin and then decide what risk level they want to, to have. So being here uh, at Adopting Bitcoin in El Salvador, it clearly feels that hyper-Bitcoinization is in full swing. So we have Lugano, we have El Salvador. Uh, what else is on the radar where Bitcoin has, is embraced? Well, I'm seeing a lot of movement in, uh, in Africa, in certain countries in Africa. There are, of course, there are many countries that don't have anymore their, their national currency, right? So they're either using the euro or they're using the, the dollar and, and, and so on. So um, these countries are the perfect ones to start looking at Bitcoin as an option as a parallel option to their current financial system because relying on a foreign currency uh, when you are a sovereign country is not the smartest thing. Thank you so much, Paolo, and best of success for Don. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Thanks, guys.